Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to um, explain this little module here. It was in one of my posters here videos uh, some time ago, but I thought I'd go into it in a bit more depth and find out what it is, how it works, etc. So, um, this is a switching book regulator. So, switching means that um, it switches on and off very fast in order to change the voltage. Uh, Buck means it's step down, so it's not step up, it's step down. And regulator, of course, is something that tries to sustain an amount of voltage. Right, so, um, what have we got here? Um, we've got an input, of course, and a shock key diode, and an input capacitor. And I, it says 220, I'm not exactly sure what it means with that, what it means by that, 220... It's not going to be 220 farads, so, I don't know, microfarads or something. Um, it's got a maximum voltage of 35 volts. So that tells me that the maximum thing this can input is is about 30 or something, and it obviously outputs less than that. Obviously, because it's a buck converter. So if you've got something that's uh, 30 volts, or let's say 24 volt battery bank, and you need 12 volts, you could probably use this module. Anyway, so we've got the diode, the capacitor, which will be a smoothing capacitor, I would imagine. Another shock key diode. Then we've got the main chip itself. And the chip, as you can see, is LM2596S. And this is the adjusting version. Uh, sometimes you get fixed versions where you have any input voltage, but the output voltage is fixed. Um, but this happens to be the adjustable one. Then we have three potentiometers, then we've got a 330, um, uh, is it micro Henry, I think, 330 micro Henry inductor, then we've got another chip, and the other chip is the LM358, and that is a dual op-amp, if I remember rightly, so something's being amplified, again, I'm not exactly sure what, but there we go, and then we have an output capacitor of 35 volts, um, which is a little bit daft on the face of it, because that's going to be less than that, but whatever. Then we have some interesting LEDs here. We have an OK LED, which I assume that's something to do with the status of this, whether it's OK, I don't know. Uh, CH, CH. No idea what that means at the minute. Now this one's interesting. CC and CV means constant current or constant voltage. Ah. So that is quite interesting. So this is almost a little charging unit. You know where you want to charge um, lithium ion cells, for example? Um, you want to use a constant current because you don't want to... Um, you know, you don't want to use a constant voltage because the constant voltage could allow an amperage of more amps than, than you want. So you might want to limit the current, and that's basically what that's doing there. So you've got an option to limit the current, or you can limit the voltage. And that's common on a lot of different PSUs. Anyway, so um, let's find out how this works and how to actually, you know, interact with these potentiometers. Right. So we have an input voltage here, and ground there. Then we have these three potentiometers here, and then we have the output. So the idea is that this chip um, provides an output voltage at a level of current which you decide, or potentially up to a level of current which you decide. This potentiometer here controls the switching frequency of the chip, and therefore controls the output voltage of the chip. So Let's say, for example, we have 12 volts and we want to output uh, 6 or so. You'd adjust this potentiometer here. And I'll demonstrate this in a minute. Now, by default, I don't know exactly how much uh, current this is going to output. I assume probably 3 or 4. If you are going to charge a battery or something like that, or, or in fact not necessarily a battery, if you want to just limit the current anyway, because you've got a certain project, um, you'd use this potentiometer and of course clockwise increases anti-clockwise decreases the same as uh, the other potentiometers so that limits the current 
And then this one, this one, this one here is a bit of a funny one. And um, this actually, what it does is, when the draw or the current drawn falls between or falls lower than a certain level specified by this, then it um, turns that LED on. I mean, in the case of lithium cells, for example, maybe you'd want to charge at one amp, and um, when it when it draws less than 50 milliamps. Um, you know it's done, so you'd set that to 50 milliamps and as soon as this LED blows, you know the charging's done, you know it's no longer drawing any current you know it's done. The problem with this is that I don't actually know exactly how you set it. So here's the module and I'm going to use it to charge up a lithium ion cell. So the lithium ion cell will charge up to 4.2 volts and that's an ideal little test for this thing. The first thing I need to do though is to alter the output voltage of this to be 4.2 volts. So to do that I'll just power this up and to power it up I'm going to use my power supply unit and the power supply unit is set to 12 volts. So if I just bring my voltmeter in uh, plus to the plus and negative to the negative and it's currently set to output 11.62 volts. So I'm going to need to change that and it needs to go down to uh, well 4.2 so keep going ah there we go, right it's starting to have an effect now 4.2 volts. We're almost there. 4.2, there we go. So I've set the output to 4.2 volts. That's perfect. Now I need to set the current. So I'll disconnect this from here and put that in the other one. I need to be careful as I do this. So I'll set this first to the 10 amp um, measurement here. Right, now we need to be cautious because this could go crazy depending on how that's set. So let's have a quick look anyway. Right, it's currently set to 1.42 amps. I need to set it to, um, let's say 1 amp. So set it to 1 amp. And there we go. So it's now set to 4.2 volts, 1 amp. And that's ideal. Right, so this, um, I'll just disconnect this now. Well, I'll just plug this in first or set this up. Put the battery on charge. Right, there we go. The battery is now on charge. The cell's on charge, I should say. And I'll just zoom in. So you can see that the current limiter is on. What that means is that, that this would normally draw more current, but it's being limited by the circuitry in here. So the current limiter is being used. And CH, I assume that means charging, because I think this is primarily, even though it's a step-down converter, I think this is meant to be a charger, a battery charger. Okay. Now we come on to this second potentiometer here, and what actually happens with this second potentiometer is that it's intended to allow you to set a level of amperage which indicates when the battery is charged. So for example, if we were to charge this cell at 1 amp, and after a while it stopped drawing an amp, because that's what happens with charging batteries, I mean, right now it's been charging for 10 minutes, it could be drawing 900 milliamps now, I don't know. Um, but when it stops drawing current and it goes to a level which is set by this then the circuitry inside here turns the OK LED on to signify that uh, you know it's charged um, or it's not drawing as, you know, as much current as set by this potentiometer and that's how it works so right now this is drawing 800 milliamps but if I was to change this and say that 800 milliamps 
uh, meant that it was charged, it would then change over and it would say OK. So if I increase the threshold, just one second, so increase the threshold, it should change to OK. There you go, OK, charged. And now if I decrease, and basically this is at 800 milliamps, so I'm telling it that if less than 800 milliamps is being drawn, then say the battery is charged. So I'll reverse that now, and um, it's now saying that um, probably some, uh, 700 milliamps. So when this goes to 700 milliamps, then this will automatically go to OK. And um, that's basically how it works. In summary, you can use this in two different ways. You can use it as a battery charger or a power supply uh, unit, I suppose, power supply unit. So if you're going to use it as a power supply unit, you need to supply it with a higher voltage, um, but less than 40 volts, I'd say less than 30 volts really. Then you configure this potentiometer here, adjust it to your voltage. So if you were to input 24 volts, for example, and you wanted 12, you'd adjust that voltage, um, the potentiometer for that there using the multimeter and then when you've got that set then you can um, adjust the current limiter so by default I don't know if it's set to maximum or whatever I don't really know um, but you certainly want to set that less than 2.5 amps and possibly even less than that because if you've got a project which you know should be drawing about an amp then you would probably want to set this to about 1.2 amps or something like that so as a power supply unit, you wouldn't really need to bother with the, um, the second potentiometer, maybe just leave it at max. So as a power supply unit, that's what you'd do. And as a power supply unit, I'd say it's pretty good. But now um, the second part, the second use is a battery charger. And as a battery charger, of course you'd do the same thing. You'd give it a high voltage here, you'd set the voltage and you set it carefully, if it's lithium ion cell you want it to be 4.2 volts um, or other chemistries obviously different voltages then you set the current level which for me I tend to use 1C an amp or so for, for these cells or something like that and for charging batteries you can use this too optionally you can use this and that just sets the LED um, it may actually turn the switching off too but I've not seen that um, but yeah so for battery charging you could also use this but it's not 100% clear how you actually configure that level for me it's just been trial and error and uh, just setting it for one battery and assuming that it's the same level for the other and um, yeah trial and error really so anyway that's my review of this little module and to be fair it seems like a good module um, especially for the price lack of documentation but I mean like I said for the price um, it's pretty good so anyway thank you for watching bye